One of the most important aspects of any job is safety, particularly when you're working with equipment. As drivers, you're required to inspect your vehicle, your load, and your immediate work site every time you prepare for a delivery or pickup. It's common sense, but it's an important part of your job. You must also be wearing the proper personal protective equipment required by your company and be prepared to follow the company's safety policies. Equipment that's improperly loaded or improperly tied down can slip and lead to a very dangerous, even deadly situation. Whether you're delivering or picking up equipment, safety policies and procedures must be adhered to without any exceptions. Your safety is of the highest priority. This program is designed to explain the basics of one, daily truck and trailer inspections, number two, loading and unloading equipment, number three, equipment transfer from one trailer to another trailer, and number four, using the equipment winch. Keep in mind your store may have additional requirements and specific procedures. However, what we'll be demonstrating is safety basics to help make you more aware of your safety responsibilities. First, let's begin with the required daily truck inspection. The inspection must be completed daily and the results reported to your supervisor for proper documentation and correction of any hazard noted. Generally, a daily inspection includes, but is not limited to, the following items. Operating fluids, brakes, hoses, tires, belts, steering, clutch, and mirrors. Emergency equipment such as wheel blocks, first aid kit, traffic reflectors, and fire extinguisher must also be inspected for serviceability. Part of your responsibility is to check your personal protective equipment before starting your shift. Make sure you are wearing steel-toed shoes. Have your eye face protection, gloves, hard hat, safety belt, and lanyard, and any other protective equipment required for your job. Remember, jewelry such as rings, necklaces, and earrings cannot be worn while on the job. Metal watch bands conduct electricity and cannot be worn. Plastic watch bands are okay. While inspecting your truck and you determine that anything is broken, missing, or not working properly, or is in an unsafe condition, record these facts on your inspection report and report it to your supervisor so the potential hazard can be corrected. The last thing to check before loading or unloading is your immediate work area around the vehicle. Look for overhead obstructions, drop-offs, holes, ditches, and overhead power lines. Make sure the area is stable and avoid any hazardous locations or unsafe conditions that could cause serious risk to personnel or equipment. Make it a habit to complete a walk-around inspection of your truck anytime you're getting ready to move it. Besides the obvious hazards, look for low or flat tires, fluid leaks, loose lug nuts, and anything else that could be broken or missing. Let's take a look at loading and unloading equipment. Whatever type of equipment you're loading or unloading, be it small or large, caution is the word of the day. It must be loaded and unloaded safely. We won't cover every type of equipment, but let's look at some of the more common pieces of equipment that are normally loaded or unloaded and could pose the greatest risk of injury 